Good evening, collective. I hope you guys are having a great evening, and I hope that you guys are staying safe. Guys, I am your spiritual advisor, Rashun. Welcome to my channel, The Cognitive Queen. I hope you guys are ready for the tea that I have for you guys this evening. You know we are finishing up on the zodiac sign, so we're going to go ahead and finish up the last six I got to do, and... We're going to see what's popping with these energies. Um, what does the divine, what does the higher ups need to uh, deliver you guys? So I am very happy to uh, be here with you to deliver these messages. So without further delay, let's tap in. Guys, just a quick disclaimer. I do say um, energies such as he and she because there's the face value of the card. But remember, energies are interchangeable. With that being said, a masculine can be a feminine energy or vice versa. You know your situation. Just flip the part and fit the puzzle to the best of your ability. So let's tap in and see what the universe has to tell you guys. Also, if you do need a private reading, you can just check the description box below to see how you can get in contact with me. And we can go from there. <clears throat> All right. So let's see what the universe has to tell us what and y'all know when i do my zodiac signs i don't um mention that particular zodiac until after the reading so i just doing something new just you know trying new things you know strategizing you know how it go <laughs> yeah somebody could be conceited here <laughs> So, um, yeah, we'll figure out what zodiac sign that we are discussing after this particular energy pool, okay? So, the mysterious zodiac sign. <laughs> I'm doing something new. I know I'm corny, y'all, but fuck it. We're going to get the messages out. Shit. Y'all going to like it anyway. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> anyway, and I am a little chilly. That's why I got my little blanket out here. You know, but we're going to keep it real, so hell, it is what it is. <laughs> when I get warm, I'll remove it. <laughs> so, ain't nothing wrong with being authentic and being yourself. Let's see. What are the messages from the divine? I have TLC, no scrubs. So, some I have a particular energy that's saying... No, no, no. They don't want no scrubs. A scrub is a guy that can't get no love from me. Hanging on the passenger side of his best friend's ride. Trying to holler at me. So somebody said, hell no. They don't want any scrubs. You're, you can have the initials T, L, or C in your name. <laughs> My mouth is dry here. Somebody could be conceited here. Somebody could be driving fast. I just heard the wheels of a car. So somebody is conceited here. Somebody likes to drive fast here. Hmm. I guess that was confirmation. Damn. All right. Let's see. What's the next energy? Somebody could be driving fast. Somebody could. I hear police. Somebody could be getting into getting into a car wreck. Hmm. Pedophile. So if someone is a pedophile here, and this person could be a scrub. You look at this person as a scrub, this pedophile. So we got someone who likes to play with children now. Then I have at the bottom bottom of the deck, you're a masculine slut with a karmic sister here. So this person could be very conceited here. This person is a pedophile. And this person is whack as fuck. He hangs on the passenger side of his best friend's ride. <laughs> it's not funny. I'm just laughing at the song. How they putting this energy together, guys. So I can see why you don't like this mug. You're like, hell no. How dare you try to come talk to me, ill bum. Is what I'm picking up. Like a Nicki Minaj energy. <laughs> Some some people may think that you're conceited though, conceited, but I think that you're just you have 
your boundaries. You just, you, you know what you want. You like what you like and that's period. <laughs> and it's nothing wrong with that. <clears throat> and I'm like, hell no, I don't want you. And I see why you don't want this person. Fucking scrub. You're a fucking pedophile. You like fucking with little kids and shit. The fuck? Ew, bum. The fuck out of here. <laughs> that's what I'm picking up. That's the energy. <laughs> oh my God. Let's get to the next energy. Hit me with conceited. <laughs> <clears throat> I have you missed a shot. Oh shit! <laughs> the ancestor said, "This bum, this pedophile, this whack ass scrub ass dude, this person who rides or hangs on his friend's coattail, <laughs> this person missed a shot with you." Is what I'm picking up. <laughs> Damn, the devil made them do it. So the devil, so this person is saying that the devil made him do it. Damn, or made her do it. And I got somebody tried to body swap you. So I'm picking up on another energy, energy that someone tried to body swap you. And somebody is saying that the devil made them do it. So I'm picking up on, this is another energy. This is a second energy. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. So the devil must have presented their self towards someone that, that you know, whether you're a divine feminine or a divine masculine. But a devil was presented towards someone, and, they, and the devil told them they must do this particular offering or some, some particular contract that they signed with the devil. Somebody signed the contract with the devil. And they said that the devil made them do it. So this is sound like one of the dominions, one of one of the devil's dominions here. Minions, dominions. <laughs> so this is a demonic person. And they're, they're trying to say that the devil made them try to body swap, like try to swap out your energy for their energy. I feel like somebody is the devil and trying to play devil's advocate. If, if you understand what I'm talking about, like somebody said is trying to act like that. They, they don't, they, they don't know what the fuck they was doing when they did all the right. They did know what they was doing. Now they're trying to get they hide their hand because the shit is being presented in front of their fucking face. They are, they are the fucking devil. They tried to body swap you. They tried to copy you, try to steal your style, try to steal your destiny, try to work, walk your journey. They talking about the devil made them do it, but they was a fucking devil all the way, all, all along the way. Period. Be careful of the mind game, mind games and the fuckery and the trickery that these people will try to put on you. Yeah. Then I got another energy. You are perfect for me. So this is someone else. This could be a twin flame here or a soulmate that's saying that you are perfect for them. And you taste like pineapples. This person said that you taste like pineapples. I have somebody here at the bottom of the deck named Kimberly. This person was associated with sex trafficking. This person could be someone who is the devil is what I'm picking up. And I feel like this person who you look at, look at as a scrub, someone who is turned on by kids. This person made a deal with this devil over here. This person was very conceited. This person may have seen you and looked at you as, you as if you was conceited. But this person missed a shot with you because you outgrown the petty ass lifestyle here. You outgrown, you had outgrown this person. This person possibly treated you like shit. And that's why you say you don't have time to be going back in, in time dealing with fucking scrubs and shit. Because you done elevated out here divine feminine or divine masculine. He signed the contract with the devil. And I feel like the devil is Kim. This person named Kimberly. And I feel like Kimberly is trying to back her foot, her footsteps up by saying, oh, because because if she, she might be into some, some type of witchcraft here. Some type of voodoo, hoodoo, some type of 
uh, seance, some type of some some shit that she was trying to body swap you and take your energy, trying to take your image. She was the devil all the way along. She's she is the devil, but try to act like she wasn't. The, like she's trying she's trying to act like like she's trying to act like she's not the devil, but she is the devil. Yeah. Ain't nobody fooled by that shit. We see, but we see exactly what you're doing. Yeah, somebody could have tried to sell pe females or sell individuals here. I'm picking up prostitution ring here or sex trafficking. I'm picking up on another energy too. That, like I said, there's a soulmate here, and someone feel like that you're perfect for them, and, and they feel like that you taste like pineapples. You got four different people that's in your energy. I got two males and one female that's in your energy is what I'm picking up on. So we're going to go ahead and tap into these messages and see what the cards got to say. I got 11. It was 11 zero, zero on the screen. That means that you are headed to a new beginning. 11, 11, new beginnings, twin flame coming towards you. All right, let's go. So let's get these cards up and let's see. What's coming towards you, baby? Yeah, some uh, this person was a, a false practitioner here, and she was a fa a, a, a false pro um, prophetess here too as well. Damn. Yeah, but I see that you, divine feminine, you are feeling yourself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. Yeah, you could be this prophetess right here. That's filling yourself. Hmm. You could be uh, someone who's of the divine here. Someone named is Joseph here. Yep. Somebody named Hunter is here. Yeah. These people could think that you're beautiful. Yeah. Well, let's get to the messages and see. Uh -oh. What are the energies that we are about to... Discuss on this particular zodiac that's coming towards us. What is this mysterious zodiac and what is the messages that you have to tell us? Let's uncover the messages that the divine wants to tell us. Thank you, source. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you, spiritual guides for guiding me, leading me, and showing me the way. As so I ask for you guys' protection to surround me and the collective. As so I ask for you to protect us from any dark magic, gossiping, or any ill intentions that sent our way. We send that back out 20 times fold. We accept all positive and divine light energy from the divine yourself creator. Thank you for your protection. So let's get into these messages. So I got a page of cups in the reverse. I got someone who's very childish here. Somebody that's a water sign that's very childish. I see that you could be recovering from a heart, um, a betrayal from someone who broke your heart here. You're slowly healing but you're healing so that's a good thing i also see that there's a queen of swords here you could be someone who is um very cutthroat you come with the truth uh you could be healing um emotionally uh your heart um your heart chakra is healing here from someone who was from possibly from someone who's very immature here but let's get one more card we're gonna pull energies and see what's popping I got the nine of cups here. So there's a wish fulfillment here. You There's a gift that's involved here. Let's see. So let's, somebody could be watching you here. There could be a fire sign that's watching you. Somebody who is always delayed and uh, bring you a bunch of uh, shortcomings into your life. Be careful of this individual that's coming towards you. Someone you know that you continue to lose when you are with this person. That's a sign that you need to stay away from that person. So, be careful. Can you clarify this page of cups? 
I have the Eight of Cups in the reverse here. So this is with somebody who was very naive, somebody who did not want to put in the work, someone who's very lack, um, who had no skills, somebody who's very sloppy. Um, somebody could want be possibly ready to tell you a message, or they, they have already told you this message. But we're gonna dig deep more into what's going on with the situation. Can you please clarify the three of swords here? Yeah, this person, before we move on, I feel like this person could have kept you blinded, um, could have kept you stuck and tried to play with your mental here. Yeah, you could have been married to this person here, but this divorce was, um, not divorce, but this relationship was karmic as fuck. Yeah, yeah, you was in a, you was in a, was in a karmic relationship with this person here, two of cups. You thought this person was your soulmate. You, look, you looked at this person as an empress here. Yeah, now this person uh, wants to come back around and offer you some type of a new beginning here. Wants to, wants to apologize, come back and apologize towards you, to you. This queen of the wand, this queen of wands energy, Aries Leo Sage energy. Mhm. Mm There's two different females in here that may want to apologize towards you. I don't know. We're gonna see. That's what I just seen. So let's see what the energies play out to be. Sixteen, sixteen on the screen when I said that. So that number may be significant for someone. You may want to look that number up and see what it means for you. So let's clarify the three of swords in reverse. I have the temperance in the reverse here. So you are healing from someone um, that could be a Sagittarius here. Well, that they that, that ain't know that. They, it could be. It is someone who's a Sagittarius. Someone who's very imbalanced. Someone who's... Um, who's very impulsive, someone who's wishy-washy, someone who's very mediocre, someone who's not balanced, a fallen angel. Someone lost their path, their de their, someone lost their path, their footing along the way here. But I feel like that you're recovering from this person here, from this fallen angel. Yeah. And it's actually the three of swords in the reverse. So that means that you're going through a great, you're going through a recovery. You're doing real good. You're slowly healing. You have a, you have forgiven the situation and moved on is what I'm picking up. Yeah. Can you clarify the queen of swords? Yeah, I'm picking up that hell. You, um, you're healing from some childish ass person that broke your heart here. You're recovering slowly, but surely. You realize this person was not putting in the work like you was. And you just see things for what they are and you decided to move on. Queen of Swords energy. Yeah. You went into hermit mode, Queen of Swords. You had to go back into hermit mode to learn about to, to learn from your lessons. You went yeah. The hermit is looking at this this temperance in the reverse here. So you had to learn from some lessons, but your lessons became blessings because you found yourself when, when, when you went into hermit mode. You had to end the situation with the Sagittarian energy, and you went to go look for wisdom. You went to go look for enlightenment. You was ready to be led away from this particular energy here because you knew it was something better out here is what I'm picking up. Yeah. Damn. Can you clarify the nine of cups? Yeah, some somebody was not ready to let you go though. Somebody, yeah, this Taurus energy. I feel like that scrub, that no scrub energy. So this person could be somebody that's short here. This person could have a a beard here, mustache. This person could look out, kind of beat up in the face here. Somebody pinnacles is somebody's losing money here or they are in lack of here. Spiritual lack. Somebody's living in, in a poverty like mindset here. It could be up to two different people here. It could be a, a taller woman here. I feel like they going through a lot of shit. This is an earth sign here. Okay. Excuse me. I feel like that this is possibly that no scrubs that I pulled up in the earlier in the earlier energy that I had, yeah, and the cognitive messages, yeah. 
So I feel like that that no scrub person is in this five of pentacles, feel depressed, feel in lack, feel some type of remorse is what I'm picking up. Maybe for how they, from how they treated you. They treated you very childish. They never put in the work with you. They didn't want to heal this connection. They actually chose to get with someone else. Is what I'm picking up. Hmm. So you went into hermit mode. And you had to recover, recover from any heartache or heart sorrow or whatever this person, how this person made you feel or how they treated you. You had to break away from that person. And I feel like that once you healed your heart, divine feminine, divine masculine, you walked away from this person with the queen of swords. You went towards something that you felt that was a gift, the nine of cups here. Someone put you between another person and you seen how they was working out with someone else is what I'm picking up. You was like, fuck that. I'd rather just leave. If you're going to put the time in with them, then I'm not going to sit here and be waiting on you to come towards me or putting me or, or like, like divine feminine. I'm picking up that like you did. You was not going to sit around and be juggled. You decided to leave. The situation had... This person had bent you to where they couldn't break. They, they broke you. <laughs> Somebody had bent you to the point that that to the point that they broke you and you decided to break and leave the, 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 that connection. Maybe you was used to dealing with this type of particular energy for a while because they sat around here and they continuously did not put the work in with you. They continuously did not balance the, situa the situation with you. They continuously treated you or they acted like a child towards you. They was emotionally immature and you had to go in hermit mode to walk away from this individual so you can gain your sanity. And I feel like once you went through, went, went through emotional, went, once you went through emotional recovery, you then had got the golf, the self-love, the perseverance, the ability to stand up for yourself and walk away from this individual is what I'm picking up. So yeah, you got that, you got up, you say, fuck your feelings and I'm going to keep it moving because yeah, this, I wasn't winning nothing over here anyway. You wasn't rooting for me anyway. So you went on ahead and left and I feel like that you went towards what you feel is a fulfillment, a, a a love fulfillment, a gift, a present from the most high, a a abundant um feeling here, a satisfied, a happy with joy um feeling here. Something brought joy to you. So what is it that brought you joy? What bring what brought you to this happiness? What brought you to this uh place of nirvana as I I want to put it. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Can you clarify the nine of cups? Ooh. Can I get one card, please? Nine of cups. Thank you. So I have the queen of wands here. Aries, Leo, Sag energy here. Fire sign energy here. So I see that you could have went towards someone who was very refreshed, someone who was young is what I'm picking up. Not young, but young spirited, someone who could be into divinity here with the black cat is what I'm looking at. Someone could like the color yellow here, but I feel like a queen of wands here. You look at this queen of wands as... Somebody who's very charismatic, someone who is um, exonerated, someone who's very independent and um, who's enthusiastic here, someone who inspire others here. 
you looked up to this person. You look you you walked away from an individual. I feel like you walked away from a earth sign here and you went towards a fire sign. Someone who was very charismatic, someone who was um who has some type of authoritative um leadership about themselves. Someone who could be a little witchy here is what I'm picking up. But someone who stands their ground and someone who could be a very fertile here. Someone know how to make that bread is what I'm picking up. But this is a, uh, someone could be slim here. So I'm picking up a, a tall individual. Yeah. So let's continue to get to the next energy. Let's see what's going on. So I'm picking up that someone... Uh, a Libra energy is what I'm picking up, um, a hermit. That's in there, this female right here. I feel like this Queen of Swords right here. I feel like this is a female here. You all, you you could have went through a whole lot of shit in life. You could have lived a hard knock life here. But you persevered and you came out of this hard knock life. You came, you came from under someone's control over here. You was under somebody dictatorship over here and you found your way out of this situation. Yeah, because you had to go on hermit mode and just and see how this person was really treating you and representing you and how they really didn't give a fuck about you. You left that shit. You say, fuck you. I'm gone. Two tears in a bucket and I'll kick it the fuck over. Yeah. You took your lessons. You learned from your lessons. You built from your lessons and you wanted to become abundant and i feel like that's what you did with the nine of cups because you are in this nine of cups energy you are sitting in this nine of cups energy like this is the nine of cups and this is what's above the nine of cups the queen of wands yeah you went into hermit mode to learn to build to grow and then you bossed up in spirit and and you and you telling the motherfucker i wish a bitch would fuck with me and you're and you abundant here you got nine cups all by your fucking self you a bad mamma jamma. You know that divine feminine 27, um, 27, 27 on the screen when I said that. 99 on the screen when I said that. You on your, come on man, 999, let's go baby. This shit real out here, let's go. <laughs> shit, look, look that up, 27, 27, then you got nine of cups right here. What's two and seven, nine, right? Nine, nine, nine. You about to have a whole new motherfucking new beginning, baby. Get ready. Because it's coming. Let's go. <laughs> Let's get to the next energy. So I have, there's a nine of pentacles in the reverse here too. So like I said, this is a Taurus um, um, energy here. Taurus, I meant earth sign energy here. It may just be a Taurus. I keep saying Taurus. So I feel like this is an earth sign energy here. This is someone who was um, depending on you. You could have been um, paying this person or giving this person money, helping this person out. This person was um, self-indulgent, um, always looking to fill, up, fill in the void here. Somebody who... Um, always needy um someone who lived beyond their means here yeah and i felt like that you could have had a family with this person here and you could have had a, a family with this person with this down the pinnacles energy is what i'm picking up let me can i get one more card I'm picking up on the three of wands energy. You chose to move forward and not look back to at uh from the look back at the past. You could have been dealing with two other individuals here, three of wands energy, fire sign energy. You could have cut off you could have cut off these two other individuals and went towards something new, something fresh. A, a brand new beginning here, a brand new journey here. You went towards what made you happy here is what I'm picking up. Or what made, what is bestowed to you in the future. You knew it was something better for you is what I'm picking up. Like the three of wands, like I know it's something better for me out here. 
I'm not finna settle for this bullshit in the past is what I'm picking up. So you took your wand and you went to invest into something else is what I'm picking up. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm picking up. You went towards something new, something fresh because you did not want to deal with the past anymore. So you, dro you dropped your burdens in the past and went forward because you know whatever that you was going towards was going to be a great investment. A great work partner, a great job, a great something about this investment was going to be um, abundant is what I'm picking up. All right. Can I get one more card? We're going to bust it down in a minute, guys. <laughs> yeah, I got that eight of swords here. Somebody tried to keep you blinded, confused, and tried to keep you stuck to not knowing the truth here. But you found out the truth here. I feel like regardless of what the, this person did by trying to keep you stuck and, and, and keep you blinded from the truth, you still found out this truth. And you that's why you went in hermit mode. So you can know what the fuck was going on. These people did not want to, or this person did not want you to know the truth. And it's more than one person because we read in the cards earlier. You had someone named Kimberly here that got they did magic on you that tried to body swap you. Then you have someone that your, that is your soulmate that loves you that wants to be with you. And then you had this other individual, the other guy that tried to keep you stuck to, to him. I feel like that you could have had a, 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 a family with with the person, this fire sign, you had a family with this person, but this person was a fallen angel. And I feel like that th you, this person was not healed enough for you to deal with this connection. That's why you had to end that situation with that fire sign. But this person wants to come back towards you and wants to give you a cup of love here. But and I see that you're emotionally healing from that individual. The Taurus energy that you're dealing with, I feel like this person was very childish. This person did not want to put in the work with you. And this person was depending, uh, dependent upon you. You could have been giving this person money. You could have been taking care of this person, them, and all their bills. This person that did not want to put in the work. Hell, they was you was you was taking care of their every need. They weren't even trying to work. Period. Yeah, I felt like that. You had to boss up and get in your Queen of Swords energy, and you had to go in Hermit mode, and you had to get them say, "What the fuck is going on with this situation?" I felt like that. You had to walk away from uh, from. Two individuals here that did not put in the top proper time, effort, or love for uh, for you. You decided to move forward with your life and go towards what the divine have in store for you, which is a bunch of shipments coming in, the three of wands energy. So you set your high, you set your vision, your perception on higher shit. You went into hermit mode and you and you building shit, you you calculating shit, you making money moves. These are bloody shoes. Shit. We making money moves. These are bloody shoes. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't playing no game. You saying off with the head. I'm about my money here. <laughs> Since y'all want to be on that non-healing shit. That want to use and abuse. And uh, want to keep people down. And stop people from uh, persevering and being on their path, then it's time for me to cut y'all ass off. And that's what I feel. That's what you did, Divine Feminine. Great job. Or Divine Masculine. Have you see the energy? Let's get some more energies. 33, 33, Master Teacher 33. Let's go. Yeah. You realize these people was fucking immature? You, you, you realize that they was foolish, gullible, immature. You could have been gullible dealing with these individuals, but they could, let's see. I feel like that these people were very foolish and immature because they was in karmic energy. People wasn't using their brain. People wasn't thinking. People was jumping to conclusions. People didn't ask questions. When you don't ask questions, you make an ass out of yourself. Period. Yeah. But I see there's an ace of pentacles coming towards you. Something is about to come towards you, divine counterpart. Yeah, you, empress. Yes. What's coming towards you, empress? Yes, empress. Yeah. 
You realize there was a bunch of deception and lies going on. You realize that people were sneaking you behind your back. Yes, yes, you did. Yes, you realize who this emperor, uh, emperor in the reverse is now. Someone who's very immature. You realize this person was not committal, and this person would never commit to you. Fire sign, energy. That's the oh Lord. So this Aries could be this fallen angel here, and you're re recovering from heartache from this person, someone you had a family with. Damn, and you was emotional about this person. You really thought that she was going to have this be-all, um, family, happy life, happy home, you know, family setting. But something along that path, of course, derailed that. That person was very immature. But nonetheless, you will be receiving your due blessings for the hard work that, that you have put into your endowments. And that's what... It, Source wants you to know that even though that you have been through heartache, pain, and going down different journeys and trying to find love and find happiness, but you already have it inside of you. So no, look no further because you are love, you are happiness, you are joy, you are everything that you need inside of you. You don't find that in any other man or any other being, but within yourself, within God, within the source, within the spirit, within your soul, within your your heart within your mind within your might is when you find that piece of nirvana and then you come peace be you become peace within yourself be the love that you want to represent and let that light shine out and be the way the light be that golden path for the next individual so they can grow heal and pass on the same knowledge let's go Someone could be, someone wants to come back and reconcile, apologize. Um, this one card is sticking out to me. Yeah, someone wants to come and offer you a new beginning here with the Ace of Wands here, a fire sign. Someone could have ended a situation with someone here with the pi, uh, um, water sign here. But yeah, that's somebody energy, not everybody energy. So can I get, um, let me get one more card. Let's see, let me get some more energy. I ain't going to say one more card. Let's get one more energy. Yeah. I have the King of Wands here. So I'm picking up that someone could be fuss, fussing and fighting with a fire sign here. Uh, the reason why I say that because I have the Five of Wands at the back of the deck here. They, someone could be fussing and fighting with someone who's very controlling. Some, somebody who's very lethargic and someone who's very... Um, uh, what I'm going to say, denominating and very aggressive here. So there's someone could have started a premature, a, what I'm picking up. Okay. So what I'm picking up here is also is that someone did start a relationship with someone who is very controlling here. They started a new journey with this person. They took a, a, a leap of faith towards someone who was very fucking controlling. Any more energies before I move on? Damn. You this empress right here. You could have thought this person was the empress here. Yeah, he started a business with this person here. He had to walk away from this energy here. He thought she, yeah, he had to walk away from this person here. He was fighting with this person here. He got his guard up to this person here. Who, this fire sign here. Can you clarify this uh, King of Wands in the reverse? Yeah. He was very weak to cut this person off in the past or she, or who, you know who your energy is, but I feel like this is a masculine who was too weak um, to cut off uh, this fire sign, this, this, this controlling ass, weak ass individual here. Someone he was in a partnership here with. He thought this person was nurturing, was mothering, was connected with the cosmos. But this person is not, not connected to nature, nor have any mothering capabilities here at all. He, he did not pay attention to the red flags. Therefore, he jumped off into a immature relationship with someone here. Is what I'm picking up. So the person that you was dealing with, um, Divine Feminine, this person is coming back around and wants your forgiveness after they made an offer towards someone else. 
is what I'm picking up. Yeah, they tried to keep you blinded that there wasn't anyone else or they did not want to tell you the truth or they did not tell you the truth. You could have asked this person and this person could have blatantly told you there was not, there wasn't someone else here when it plainly indeed was. They, damn. Yeah, he didn't tell you that he was married to the fucking devil. So what I'm picking up is one energy. God dang, you love one dude. This fucking got this 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 earth sign dude over here. Shit, you 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 thought that you found someone that was uh, on your level, and you realize this motherfucker is just like the other one. Like they was they they the same energy, just different different faces here. And you and you thought that you could make something work. You thought this person was your 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 wish fulfillment here. You could have, they, this person could have two children here. Y'all could have had a family together. You may have two kids with him or they may just have two kids by themselves. is what I'm picking up. I feel like that that fairy tale had got shattered for whatever reasons. But whatever, the, this person was a fallen angel, has he, how he is coming out of this angel, this earth angel. He lost his wings for whatever deceptive behavior that he did. But and I see that you have recovered from that energy. So yeah. And I feel like throughout all of this bullshit, you chose to just go towards your fucking got them three of wands, your got them shipments. Your ship's about to come in now. You've been working real hard at it. Yeah, you're about to be blessed by the universe here. And you say, hell no, be a bum. Keep your ass over there. We don't want no bums. Cause they treated you like a fucking bum. They treated you, they dragged your name, they got them treated you like shit. Yeah, they did. They chose other women over you. Oh, and now y'all, oh, yeah, child boo. <laughs> you said, let me go on Herman mode. Let me go boss up on their asses. Yeah. Now, 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 Diva is a, how that song go? Diva is of a hustler. A diva is a female version of a hustler. A diva is a female version of a hustler, of a hustler, of, of a hustler. Nah, nah, nah. A diva is a female version of a hustler. So I'm picking up that you got that diva energy. Skirt. Let me state facts. I told you, give me a minute and I'll be right back. So yeah, you want to go get your shit together. <laughs> Divine feminine. I'm getting that Beyonce energy here. Yeah, but they, but like I said, these men, um, I feel like you gave your heart to these people and they shitted over you. And I feel like that you came out and you bossed up out of this bitch. You got one up. I feel like both of them may be wanting to come back towards you. But I see that there is most definitely this fire sign that wants to come back towards you after they have made a wrong decision. Um, this this eight of, eight of Pentacles haven't made any sound yet but let's see what is he what he's trying to do what is this eight of pentacles trying to do over here oh so this eight of pentacles is losing control of the situation this motherfucker possibly can't get in contact with you and trying to figure out what the fuck is going on or why he can't call you why he can't contact you you probably got this motherfucker on block this motherfucker trying to get in contact with you so this person is losing control because whatever tactic that they tried to use or whatever that game that he was trying to play that thought and and it and he thought that you was going to um uh fall for the game now he know that this shit is serious and that this situation is over so now he's losing hope and he's losing control that this situation is uh going to play out for the worst for him that you guys will not come back and reconcile yeah can you clarify the chariot card yeah there will be no success here for this uh person the six of wands in the reverse here this situation will not be successful at all this person feel burdened that you will not come back and reconcile back with him yeah this person is very irrational and believe in their own lies here but this person has gained a has gained a greater perspective about why you have ended this situation. So he knows why you this energy, this Taurus energy, this Earth sign energy knows why 
you don't want to go back towards them now. They was possibly was losing control and trying to figure out why uh, you pick someone over them or why it's hard for them to get in contact with, with you or why it can't work between you two. And I feel like he came to the rational point of himself after he calmed down and realized that he was being irrational and was th thinking impulsive and wild and teamed up against other people to bring you down. So he had to, he had to gain a higher perspective and he see the faults for his wrongs and he see now that he has to let the situation go because he know that he caused a major uh, part of the deception the, of the fall of this relationship. So what is this King of Wands? What is this um what is this this fire sign energy over here? What is his his um intentions? He wants to come and bring you some type of offer here. Is what I'm picking up. What is his intentions? This fire sign. This fire sign is still weak from dealing with some type of betrayal that happened with him. So like I said, um The person that you chose to deal with, Queen of Wands, because you are the Queen of Wands, Divine Feminine. You are in your power. You are the gift. You got nine cups all by yourself, and you're about to get blessed by the universe. But whoever it is, this uh, this other fire sign is, because there's two fire signs out here. So this King of this King of Wands out here, this person was very submissive, very weak. Couldn't really fight off temptation. Didn't want to fight off temptation. This person is still weak and still tired and still try, is healing from a third party energy. Here's what I'm picking up because they person also, um, I feel like had third party energies on them, like cheated on them as well. Is what I'm picking up. Someone that you was in a relationship with gave to someone else. And now they're healing from that heartache over there. Any other energies before I close out this reading? Yeah. Libra energy here. So he's still healing from these secrets here is what I'm picking up. From someone who he has unpleasant memories about. Yeah. So one more energy to close out this reading. Yeah. He was tired of being juggled. So he's still, he's healing from someone that had juggled him. Someone who is in this Libra energy. But this is someone who wears a mask. This is someone who's not divinely connected. This is someone who's fucking very weak and tried to play on people, play on people's um, minds and, and try to manipulate people here. And this person kept a lot of secrets here. Period, point blank. Yeah, he found out about this shit. The high priest. Yeah, he's still weak dealing with this. Um, He's still weak and healing from this energy. From being um, juggled. So guys, that those are the energies that I have for you. So we're going to go ahead and tap and see who is this Zodiac. I'm picking up Earth sign. It might be Libra energy. Let's see. Fire sign. <laughs> so we're talking about, <laughs> not just, I said Taurus, right? But this is. Uh, fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sag energy, who we are talking about. So that is it, guys. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace be to you guys. Love you. Bye.